Hi guys, so today's video is another charity shop haul. It's more of a clothing haul than anything. And these hauls, I feel like getting a bit repetitive, so maybe my next Friday video will... I keep kicking the tripod. But maybe my next Friday video will be some tips for charity shopping or just another clothing orientated thing. But I picked up a couple things recently from a charity shop and I think these were all lower stuffed ones again. So a couple more things. This is just a white ribbed jumper which I picked up from a charity shop from New Look. And I can't remember how much it was but I've worn it to college today and I'm very happy with it. It's a size small but I still think it's uh, quite big. So I can't really complain about this. It's, it's nice. I love it. Another new look item I got is this red top and it's a, it says it's a size 10 when I looked at it but um, it's quite tight so I guess it's more suited for an 8 but it's just like a white top with, they're not lines all the way across but they're just like little black lines that kind of are on it so I got that as well, this was only a pound, I was quite happy with that because if it was a new look it'd be like at least four so I'm quite happy with that another one and well another top that I got which isn't really my style but I wore it and I quite like it and it's just this kind of black and grey and white stripy turtleneck and it's not like a full turtleneck and it is quite loose but getting it over my head was um, quite funny but it's just got like no sleeves at all so it's kind of like basically a turtle neck vest top and I'm not sure what brand it is because it just says Innocence in it it's a size 10 and that was either a pound or two pound and I wanted to start wearing turtlenecks and to try and get the feel for them since I've never worn them and this was a good top and I like it because it shows off my tattoo more I'm pretty sure I wore it in my last video but yeah, it just, I don't know, it just makes, I just like the way it makes my arms look. It makes me look a bit more grown up. And yeah, it's an alright top. Next thing I've got is a hoodie and I tend not to buy hoodies. And I'm going to move back to show you said hoodie. I don't buy hoodies because I just don't wear them very often. And when I do, it's usually Bobby's hoodie. But we found this when we went to the industrial park, which isn't like on the main high street. It's quite a walk away. But we always venture up there every now and then to go see what they have. And it's a burgundy hoodie. There's the hood. It's a burgundy hoodie with white strings. It's a very good material. On the front it says big deal. And on the back it has this design here. And I can't read it upside down. It says, have ha, ha, on, honest, ha, honest doggies, there you go, honest doggies, big deals on fast wheels. And the tag on the inside says American Apparel. And it's a size small. So I don't think American Apparel is such a big thing in the UK. So it was quite nice to find something like that in a charity shop. And it fits me. I don't know if it's a men's small because it's, certain, it's certainly a lot bigger on me than a woman's small would be. So I'm going to assume it's a men's small. The last clothing item I got is actually the, my favourite thing that I found ever. Like, ever, ever. Especially from a charity shop. And it is this. This is a animals in danger top from the body shop and on the front it says now you see us soon you won't it's got a pink elephant a yellow rhino and like some sort of whale thing and on the back it says extinct is forever and there's a story with this one I went into body shop and I was really confused after picking it up from charity shop I went in there and I was like you don't sell clothes do you and she was like no I was like, okay then, can you uh, tell me where this came from? So I showed her the top, 
she took it off me, she had a look at it, and she went, where did you get this? And I was like, oh, I got it from a charity shop. And she went, yeah, we didn't sell these, these were something that the staff members wore, like, 15 years ago. And she should, because there's the logo on the back of the top, she had a look at that and she'd shown me how it's changed to what it is now. And she was like, yeah, this is something they used to wear, like, years ago. And so, finding something like this that, you know, quite short print, isn't actually out for public to buy. I guess it's kind of a rare item and I love it. And I'm actually, this is the saddest part, it sold on my Depop. As soon as I got it, I put it up there because I wanted everyone to see it. And I had so much feedback saying people loved it and how unique it was. And I thought I'd put it up for a really high price, hoping no one would buy it. But someone was like, hey, you know, I'll have it for this price. And I was like, okay. So that's why I'm filming it quite early on in the week, because this has to get posted out pretty much immediately after I finish filming. I will be packaging it up and sending it to its new owner. Well, we're down to the last two things, and since I just mentioned Body Shop, I will mention it again. I got the Body Shop Candy Ginger Body Butter, and I'm pretty sure this was like, from a couple of years ago, like a Christmassy one, but this is £1.50 from a charity shop and it smells it's all like goopy and gross because I was playing with it but I'm not sure what it smells like just does it smell like ginger? I don't want to stick my face in it but I guess it's a faint smell of ginger now I don't know how old this is but I don't think they would put it out if it was out of date is there a date on it? nope but yeah, I've been messing around with it so it's all goopy so I don't want to show you because it's not exactly brand new because it's a charity shop. But you know, I thought I'd get it because then it would go with the top. The body shop stuff. And I need to get some more body shop stuff. This is like, I own this, maybe a perfume and like a hand moisturiser. That's about it from the body shop. But the last item I got from this week's charity shop haul was just this bag. And it's just got... It's got gold detailing on it, and I'm not really a gold person, but it's got, it's just like a cream black and gold. It's a nice size, I can fit pretty much all I want in there, and it's got a long strap. There's quite a lot of room in there, I currently have some Charlie spray in there because I took it out with me yesterday. It's originally from Primark, and I only paid £1.50 for this, so I'm happy with that. But, um... Yeah, that was everything I got. If you want to see another one of these videos again where I show you what I've got, let me know. If you want to see them where I'm actually walking around the shop, I'll get Bobby to actually film me walking around the shops rather than you just seeing my hands all the time. Or I can do a tips and tricks video, like what to look for, where to go, you know, grumbling on prices, and a video that may or may not be very controversial is how to make money from charity shop shopping. If you want to see a video like that, let me know. It doesn't make me feel bad that I say it, that I do sell the things that I buy from charity shops sometimes. But yeah, everyone's got to make up their way in life. And I just happen to have a good eye for things. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm hopefully going to be doing a massive thank you video for all my subscribers soon, so keep an eye out for that. I'm just waiting for something to arrive through the post, and then you can all see the sacrifice that I'm going to make for you. Yeah, let me know what videos you want to see. Remember, Mondays are beauty themed, and Fridays are clothing haul themed. So if you want me to do a first impressions on something, go to find something to try it out. Maybe a brand of clothing you want to see, whether their sizes are correct, colour schemes, anything like that, let me know. But anyway, see you later.